Yes, I know I'm copying Ian's intro, but how the f am I gonna pack all this? Sh <laughs> Hi girls, I'm Anna and in a couple of days I will be traveling the world in one year. Now, I will be taking this one backpack, it's 40 liters. The reason we chose this backpack is because we're on a budget and it is the smallest size that you can get for a backpack so it will fit in your carry-on. And don't get me wrong, I'm not all confident about this at all. Every day I'm like, how the heck am I gonna do this for one year living out of this small bag? But hopefully today you can learn something about what I'm packing and hey, maybe if you um, have any tips for me, leave them down in the comments below. But let's get started. First, we're gonna do some swimsuits. I'm a big swimsuit girl. I like to, you know, post on Instagram. We're always on the beach. So I am actually packing 16 swimsuits for the year, which still doesn't feel like enough. So we'll see how that goes. But let's start with these. We're going to put them in this pocket here. Fitting pretty well so far. Not too much mass taken up. Before we go on, I want to talk about something that's convenient that I should have thought of before, but this cactus bikini and this suit can have the same bottom. That's super nice. If you can find a bunch of tops, maybe white and black, then you don't have to pack as many bottoms. So I wish I would have thought of that sooner. It's too late now. I'm sick of Amazon knocking on my door, so we're not going to order any more suits. These three suits are all so, so cute. They will be on my website as soon as we start traveling, but the top can double up as shirts. So they're going to go in my shirt package mainly because they're really thick, and I don't want this to get any thicker. So I'm actually going to take these out and put the bottoms in here. I will show you kind of why I'm doing that in just a second. So we're done with the bikinis. Here is the hat that I didn't know right away when I was first packing and nothing was fitting. These clips, you can clip close in and tighten them. The thing is pushed out, it's compressed. First, I'm gonna pack dresses. This long, pretty dress, just because I assumed, you know, I'm not gonna be wearing that every day, so let's put it in the compressed part. And then is a, kind of like a jumpsuit romper type thing. Then we have another pretty dress. Right, so like special occasion stuff we'll put there. These are gonna go at the bottom. Least important on the bottom. That when we're in those hostels or Airbnbs, we're not making a horrible mess. Next we have my thick shorts. These are gonna go in there as well, the ones I'm wearing. So I have four cute people shorts that will go in there. Next is my shirts. So Ian so kindly lend me this little organizer. And organizers are great. I found that they just take up a lot of room. But for my shirts, I think it's the best idea because a lot of them are really small. So just putting all that small stuff in there gets really cluttered. I am doing a organizer solely for my shirts. And that's where these three thick tops will also go. I have about 10 to 15 tops in here. Some small, some just set regular t-shirts, a lot of tank tops. Okay, look at how big this is, right? Let us now decompress it. Look at how far down that went. Now I have all of this room all around here, okay? And even below I have some room. I got two skirts that match some of the tops. I got these on sh sheen. Shine, I'm not positive how to pronounce it. All of my clothes will probably be on the website as well if you like anything you see. This is like my little pajama. It's like a pajama romp, pajama romper. So I figured I would bring that just so I don't have to keep, you know, how many times are you gonna do laundry? I don't wanna have to keep cleaning my t-shirts. Okay, that is actually not all of the clothes. Let's review what we have in the bag before we go on. So we have our 16 swimsuits, 15 shirts, four cute shorts, two dresses, one jumpsuit, a romper for the beach, like a cover-up romper and bedtime romper, two skirts. So from here, my workout clothes. I'm only bringing two pairs of workout shorts. These I wear all the time. So they're gonna go right on top, easy access, always there for me, right? Of course, you know, things that we always forget. Bra and underwear. I have four bras. I'm not a big bra girl though. Bringing only four bras isn't that challenging for me. But also you can wear your swimsuits as bras, like if one gets dirty and whatever. And if you have 16 swimsuits, you should be fine. Then I have about 15 pairs of underwear, half thongs, half regular underwear. Go right in the side there. So we still got a lot of room. Next we're gonna do socks. Five pairs of socks. Those can go in there. And then I have my makeup bag. I don't wear a lot of makeup but it's essentials like blush, 
blush, bronzer, some powder, mascara, and that kind of thing. That'll go right on top. And a hairbrush, of course. You need a hairbrush. I will not be bringing a straightener nor a curler, which I'm struggling with, but maybe I'll have some videos on like how to do hair with no heat. That will be really interesting because we'll have to learn in the next year. Now, we're gonna move into accessories. So clothes are done. To be honest, this is actually the first time I've fully packed everything, so bear with me. You know what I'm thinking right now is I think these spins might be able to go right here. Let's close the bag together. Can I get a drum roll, please? <laughs> goggles there. Ian and I decided to bring our own snorkel gear because last time we were there we were constantly renting snorkels. Hey, perfect. Here is one of my top five things that I can't live without while I'm traveling Southeast Asia, which I have a blog. If you want to click that and read more about it, you'll understand why I'm bringing these things. But this is my shampoo and conditioner. We have plenty of room. We're going to stick that all the way down there. Of course, our snorkel we didn't fit yet. Next, we have microfiber towels. They're super, super thin. And of course, you need towels while traveling. If you're staying in the hostel, they do not provide towels. Of course, you need them on the beach. Uh, this is another one of my things that I can't live without. I bought 36 razors plus five. Those are gonna go in my microfiber towels. Fit right in this nice big pocket here. I have two pairs of shoes. One are my sneakers and one are my flip flops and those will go in the front. I'll be wearing these mostly because it'll be harder to fit in my bag. If they're not on my feet, I'll probably tie them to the bag and they'll just kind of swing back and forth. And we have a mesh bag for laundry. Now, you guys ready for this? I have something very important that I need to put in this bag, also on the blog, and I need to bring a hundred of them. Those will be tampons. If you need to know why I'm bringing a hundred tampons, read the blog, it's all in there. But let me get this set up because I'm gonna need to lay out a hundred tampons. Give me one second. One hundred tampons! Let's see how this goes. They might just need to go right here for everyone to see. Let's just do that for now. Okay, we are gonna save these for my other bag. Oh yeah, that look pretty good. All right, let's move on to bag number two. Shart. Yeah. Shart. Now we're gonna talk about this bag. It'll be on the front of my chest. I know, how glamorous is this lifestyle? Let's start with putting some tampons in first because doing it last, last time was not really efficient. The best part is these two things up here. Right off the bat, I'm thinking, let's put the tampons in here. Another really great tip is if you have family visiting you at all or friends, maybe just have them bring your tampons. This is like bizarre. We got my computer, iPad, which we like to call an iPad, two pairs of Bose headphones, external hard drives. This is all the jewelry I'm bringing. A couple pairs of earrings, a couple necklaces. You're gonna get tangled, that's gonna stink, but what else are you gonna do? And our speaker. I think I'm gonna do external hard drives on the left of the tampons. So ever lose our external hard drive, hard drive, just remember, left of the tampons. Okay, perfect. Now this will go on the side. Last but not least, this has saved my life numerous of times. It's a huge battery pack. This will be the last thing we put in and then we are done. God, this feels really good. I'm seriously not lying. This is the first time I actually packed. <sighs> and that's how that will look. This, ladies and gentlemen, is your final product. Any questions or if you like anything, you can go to our website, theotherside.com. We are also always answering emails, Instagram posts, and we hope you subscribe to our channel and follow us on our next year. We're super excited and hopefully we, you know, entertain you. I'm sure something bad will happen that will be funny.